are doing what they can do to make the holiday brighter for those less fortunate. News 12 Long Island's Joe Wagner is in Huntington Station where people are ready to make a very special delivery. Happy holidays, Joe. And happy holidays to you guys as well. Now we're standing inside the warehouse for Toys of Hope where volunteers have spent the afternoon loading up thousands of toys into vans and they're just about ready to drive that over to a local homeless shelter where 150 kids I'm sure are anxiously waiting. And I'm here now with the founder of the group. This is Melissa. Now you've been doing this for 15 years. What's it like to see the kids' faces when you, when you oh, arrive? It's so exciting, especially on a Christmas I mean, we do this every day of the year, but Christmas, it's just the kids are so excited. They're not expecting it. They didn't have a holiday this season, and Toys of Hope is coming to the rescue with tons of toys. You, I know you've been doing this for 15 years. This is the first year you've had a shortage. We have an incredible shortage. We're still short of 20,000 toys. Uh, we're hoping that the local community pitches in and brings more toys. They've been bringing toys all week long. Wow, and especially on Christmas, I'm sure you can really use it. How long will you be we're, handing out we're toys We're going to be delivering our Christmas till the second week in February. It takes that long to deliver to 50,000 children, families, and pets. Wow. And if you would like to donate or help out, you could volunteer your time or drop off a toy. There's plenty of more information on our website. That's news12.com. In Huntington Station, Jill Wagner, News 12 Long Island. Ron and Allison. All right, Jill. Thank you for that. But well, we're wanting to get a check of the holiday forecast in other places around the country.